Uh, this is a Baldwin SD6. How I do down bearing is I measure from the bridge to the termination point on the back scale and then calculate by sign of angle how tall the depth gauge needs to be. We've all seen these, right? These little T posts, I guess you could call them, that they go into a hole right there. It's hard to do with one hand. Try my other hand. So you put that in the hole, and then the string goes over that. That's the rear string rest. On this Baldwin, you know, you get up there in the treble sections and the middle sections that uh, it's basically about two inches away from the bridge. So you calculate the sign of the angle and the depth block needs to be about like an 045 punching. And then you get down here in the bigger sections, the strings farther away, like about five inches away. But guess what? I want over here, I want a less steep of a, an angle on the string. So 045 comes out to about half a degree. So I'm kind of thinking that's, that's kind of like on purpose maybe? Not sure, but sure is convenient for me. So anyways, here's the neat thing that I discovered is uh, put the punchings underneath the T rest. Yeah, that's a good name for it, right? T rest. Then when you're done with that, then you just remove the punching and your down bearing set. So it holds it. Look at that, it holds it. See, it doesn't move. The post is long enough that it goes through the punching and into the hole of the plate. Here's another neat little thing. Look at that. Kind of an odd looking thing, isn't he? This is for setting my string length. Since I'm changing, uh, lengthening the scale, that's to go under the uh, capo there and be, it'll center itself. And then it comes across the bridge and it marks where the string needs to be for note 88. So let's see right here. There we go, note 88. I don't know if you can see it or not, but right there, yeah, see the, see the lines? Then I've got it marked how wide I want the uh, top of the cap to be. So, anyways, just a simple little wood jig. All right, see you in the next video.